was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever feed me. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. I'm Enzo. And I'm Davey. Uh, welcome to our special holiday episode, meaning Christmas episode. Hey, what? It's the holidays. It's the Christmases. It's the holidays. It's the Christmases. It's the holidays. Anyway. Being very rude. So today we are making a pizza wreath. So I saw this thing online and I was like, oh, that's cute. So we're kind of taking a lazy approach to it. I didn't make any dough. I, uh, I bought a... Uh, Pre-made pizza crust. So, oh boy, oh boy. We are going to be using pizza crust. Yep. Oh boy. So uh, we're essentially going to roll this out, cut it into a wreath shape, top it with stuff, and then make it look like a wreath. That's the plan. So, all right. So um, let's get our thing, our stone. This is our pizza stone with parchment on the top of it. And then we're going to pop. These things always scare me. Okay, you need me to do it? No. I'm daddy to do it. Don't you unwrap it first? I don't know. Yeah. Give it. Hey. Let me do it. No. Why? Why? Do it. Oh my god. Now that you've made it so difficult for me. So typically I think you use like a spoon or something to like yeah. snack it, but that never works because it's never strong enough. Good job. Good job, baby. All right, so we have this log of dough. I don't know, also I don't know how different this is than like biscuit dough. No. I feel like it's... Mm. It looks very similar, but I have to imagine it's not gonna be the same. Yeah. Okay, let's just all right. So let's roll this, roll it out. Wherever the preparation is, there it is. Do you know what we're gonna cut it with? Do we have something to cut it with? Uh, do not. Can you grab a knife? Yeah. All right. So maybe um, maybe the rolling pin. Yeah. Okay. I think we need to roll this out. All right. So. I'm gonna roll it into a. I'm gonna roll it out and then cut it into a circular shape. All right. Yeah. It's gonna be a very thin pizza. Can I cut it? Yeah. Go for it. Oh, I got dust in my eye. I've been cutting wood all day, like a man. All right, so, let's see here. Hey, what are you doing back there? <laughs> I'm just hanging out, just chilling, just watching a professional. So we have our wreath shape. I mean, uh, we have a circle with a circle. It's our donut shape, basically. Okay. And I'm gonna put our toppings on. What do you do with all that dough? Oh. There you go. So I bought some um, pre-made sauce. Like I said, this is very lazy, uh, lazy pizza. Yeah, we're really, we're really so, just. So this is fire roasted arrabbiata. Arrabbiata pizza sauce. Uh, spicy kick. I do like an arrabbiata for like a, um, instead of just like a standard marinara for pasta and things. Yeah, you could probably use this for pasta too. I'm sure you could use that for pasta. There's some, yeah. I'm definitely not gonna use all of it. Yeah. Okay. It actually okay. smells like pasta sauce. Yeah, it really does. Uh, okay. I don't really think I've ever seen an arrabbiata. And then we're gonna use some mozzarella, a little moisture. Get the cheese on there. Now remind me again what's the what's the what's the upside for low moisture? Uh it's less wet. Okay. So it doesn't like wheat when yeah. it cooks? Yeah. Um I think we're gonna put some I picked up some chicken um Chicken meatballs. Okay. So I just cut them in half. All right. Kind of plop them on. 
Okay, well, we're gonna pop them on. Okay. Looks good so far. Right? Yeah. Now these are a little uniform. I feel like if you're making a if you're making a wreath, they should be kind of like staggered a little bit, right? Here. In more organic shape. Hey. I'm gonna leave some room up here for the bow. Okay. This so I made a bow. Well then maybe get this one gotta look over here. Okay. Put one in, but then no, because you wanna do bow, yeah. bow room. Yeah. Man, this is loaded with meat. Loaded. Very much a meat lover's pizza here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and we're going to let's put some some um, cheese balls, little mozzarella. These are called like pearl, pearl mozz, pearl mozzarella. This uh, I could, we'll probably add these uh, afterwards too, just for some contrast and color. Okay. After it comes out. Okay. I see you. What? How is it? We're fine. Just mozz. Uh, and then it's delicious. So, now, are any of these supposed to be specific toppings in your mind, in terms of like, or not? I mean, like specific parts of a, of a wreath? Uh, or are you well, just trying to make it taste good? Well, I want it to taste good, and I was thinking like green and red and. Okay, where's the green? It's coming. Okay. Green, red, and white. Green, red, white, some brown. Yeah, brown, that's what I always think <laughs> of when I think of a wreath. For, that, for that, those sad Christmas moments. Mm -hmm. And then, um, we're gonna put some spinach. Okay, so this will, this will be like the, the green part. Okay. And then we'll put some more on after it bakes. Um, because when we cook this, it's, it's going gonna, to yeah, it's gonna wilt. Like, wilt and not look very green. So, yeah, okay. Put some behind here too. Okay. Uh, and then put some more cheese on top. So far, it's looking very wreathy. I think yeah. that the most wreath part of it is gonna be the 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 spinach. Sure. Otherwise, it's just a ring. All right. So I think I think we're good. Um, so we'll put this in the oven for, I don't know, 10 minutes? Yeah, I'd say go easy on it, whatever it is, because this is very thin. Yeah. All right, BRB. So while we wait, <laughs> someone has some holiday jokes. I only have like one. Uh, what do you get? What, um, what do you call? A, what do you call a gingerbread man <clears throat> who's like missing a leg? <laughs> it's a limp biscuit. <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> uh... Alright, you're done. <laughs> done. Get out of here. So pizza's on the oven. Uh, I put a bow on the pizza. So the bow is basically a red pepper that you kind of cut, you like slice it, and then cut out the little- The bow shape. The bow shape and the tail, and the little thing in the middle. It's really cute. So, there you go. Ta-da! Ta-da! I'm doing this so it doesn't slide off the plate. Yeah. So uh, this dough is a little soft. So I'm not sure how well it's going to cut, hmm. but I think it looks cute. This is definitely something that you could do uh, for the holidays. So how long is it in the oven? Uh, about 15 minutes. Hmm. 15 minutes at 425. Hmm. So I don't know, I guess maybe it could go for another... Do you think that not preheating the stone is part of the problem? Mm -hmm. I see, I'm not treating this like a real pizza though. I see. Because it's like... Not real pizza. Yeah, and some of it, some of it did rise, and some yeah, of it did. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Maybe try using actual dough. I'm sure, oh. it might turn out. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. 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 Interesting. Uh, also, uh, cherry tomatoes would be cute on this. Cherry plate. tomatoes have been so cute. I totally blank on that, but cutting cherry tomatoes in half and like putting the halves on there, yep. it would make them look super festive yep, and yep, yep. Christmassy. But this is what we have. Here's where we are. So anyway. Let's uh, let's try this this za this Chris Christmas za. Mmm. Okay. It smells really good. It does smell really good. 
I think ingredients wise, this is a delicious pizza that I yeah. would totally eat as a regular pizza, not just a funny, a funny hot hot pizza. Yeah. So, all right, the beer. This is definitely pretty soft. Okay, you did it. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Get in there. Mm. Here we go. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be hot. Because you let a rabbi out, it just tastes like barbecue sauce. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do not like this crust. It's a little, a little too soft. I think um, if it was in the oven for maybe another five or so minutes. Yeah. It's like it's like almost doughy on the bottom. Yeah. So we might we might stick this back in for a few more minutes. Yeah. To crisp it up, but the yeah the the chicken meatballs. Good. And the flavor and the sauce and the the sun dried tomatoes and the cheese, spinach, everything is everything's great, delicious. Yeah, so, so good combo. Yeah, um, yeah, you should try this. Definitely tasty. If you're having a holiday party, uh, you can definitely cut this, cut these into like smaller little strips. The other bonus of using like actual dough is that you can make a much bigger pizza. And we could have probably, very truth be told, probably gotten away with a smaller hole in the middle too. Right. And there would have been more surface area for that. That also probably would have helped a lot. Mm -hmm. And more surface area means more toppings. So all those things included, but I really wanted to make sure it looked like a wreath to me. And that's kind of like a, that's kind of a wreath with. Yeah. So, so yeah, there you go. There you go. Holiday pizza wreath. Happy holidays. Happy you. holidays. Hope yeah. you have a wonderful and safe and, and Drunken time. Eat some pizza on Christmas mm -hmm. for us. You should. Yeah. We might be having pizza on Christmas. Who knows? I think we're actually going to have Chinese food on Christmas. Maybe pizza too. Yep. Hey. Hey. Maybe pizza too. I said Chinese food. Well, thank you guys for watching as always. And uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe, hit that like button if you like the video, hit that notification bell. You know the drill. And until next time, ho 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 for now. And uh, smile you later. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a pizza man. Yeah.